Sharp Game here. Welcome to another episode. Coming at you from ChooseYourRelationships.com, offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Why do women leave their husband after 10, 20 years of being married all of a sudden? Um, I got this question the other day. Um, a guy was like, he doesn't understand a woman that's claimed that she's happily married. She maybe they've been married for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And all of a sudden, she just wants out the marriage. And if you've been following me for a while, you know, I, I never recommend guys get married. And at the same time, I never tell them don't do it either. What I tell guys is this is, the, here's all the pros and cons of being married. Especially if you're getting married to the state. If you have a state license, that's all it is. That's all the marriage contract is, just a state license. Now, you don't have to. You can still get married, but you just don't have to get married. You don't you don't have to have a state license. So you have to understand whenever a state tells you or any organization tells you that hey, we're you're allowed to get married, but you have to come to us to do it. There's always going to be a trade-off. It's always going to be um some way that they're going to capitalize off of it some way somehow now you might not know it <clears throat> and you know a lot of people don't know how marriage came about and they don't even know the history of marriage they don't even know the whole concept of marriage but they but they still want to get involved why do you want to get involved into something that you don't even know how it came about it, it, it doesn't make any sense to me it, it might not be for you you know this happens every day unfortunately people want to get involved because they see everybody else doing it so they want to do it too so it's, so it's that herd mentality you know and this is why people are losing in marriage. This is why the divorce rate is so high because people are playing a loser's game. See, marriage wasn't even for the working class people in the first place. Marriage was all about control for the rich and wealthy back in the day, in the early 1900s. It was all about keeping what I got maintaining what I got for the next generation that's that's what it was all about and it was all about keeping white women away from black males as much as possible that's what the whole thing was all about control that's why it came about and if it was like okay Black male, well, back then they, they didn't call them black males, they called them colored people back then in the early 1900s and beyond. They said, Okay, if if there's some colored people that want to get married to the Caucasian woman, okay, we're it's going to be in a control environment, and that's exactly how marriage came about because it's all about control. And it's all about stealing what you got and maintaining it. That's what it was all about, you know. You see, a lot of people don't understand this. They don't know it. And if you don't believe me, I challenge you. Go do your own research. I challenge you. Go do your own research and, and, and see if what I'm saying ain't true. You know what I mean? And see, one thing about when you get married to the state, 
especially when you start having kids. This is why DSS can come in and try to dictate to you what you're supposed to be doing with your kids or oh, you're abusing them and all this other crap. It's because and reality is you really you're like a caretaker your kids you don't really you have very little rights as far as taking care of your kids they really belong to the state the state has more power than you when it comes to your kids and that's just reality and this is why a lot of guys are opting out of getting married uh, as far as having a state license you don't have to have a state license. You can write up a contract and have prenups and all these other contracts like a lot of these other rich people do and wealthy people do. You don't have to get married with a state license. But people are so ignorant, you know, they don't even think twice about it until it's too late and the woman is taking you to the cleaners, trying to take everything you got. After you done work 10, 15 years, work hard for everything, taking care of the family and all, you know, all this good stuff. And now, all of a sudden, she ain't happy no more. All of a sudden, she got a problem with everything that you, you're doing. The jokes ain't funny no more. And now, she's showing you a letter in the kitchen, on the kitchen table, from her attorney. And she playing this thing out months in ahead. Because women get divorced mentally first before they get divorced physically. And a, a lot of women today, unfortunately, I don't really, I, I, I came to, to a conclusion. Most women today in the 20s and 30s and even in the 40s, they don't really give a damn about no family. I, I really, I, I came to that conclusion about 10 years ago. They really don't care. They say they care, they play the game well, but if you really watch them long enough, if you really go behind the scenes, if you see, look at the decisions that they make, it has nothing to do with kids. It has to do with just her. You know, a lot of women are, are chasing a certain lifestyle today or a certain type of income today more than anything else. They don't really give a damn about these kids. They use the kids as pawns today. They use the kids as as a means or, or a form of income more than anything. They have, a lot of these women don't even take care of the goddamn kids. So, you know, uh, this is why a lot of guys are opting out. This is why this is why there's so many single dads out here today. Women are leaving their kids with the guy and going and, and leaving and, and going with another man in most cases. This is why a lot of women are so eager to leave and so fast to leave. And, and, and there's a lot of reasons for this. Number one, she's probably got another man anyway, at least one on the side. He's probably been around for a long time. And if she's a, a, a highly a decent, still decent looking woman after having kids and everything um and if she's still attractive to most guys or the average guy and if she see a way that she could leave without any consequences she probably will because you know today you know the laws and the attorneys and the judges are pretty much on the women's side of the game as far as you know the court system goes and you know she got women that's sitting on the bench calling her whispering in her ears telling her all the stuff that really don't mean anything and you know that's just what it is out here today man you know so now if a woman doesn't leave it's probably because she don't got nobody she don't want to be single but she pot but she don't want to be with him either and she probably 
overweight or, or ain't or she's not that confident and she's not that good looking as much as she used to be so if that's the case she ain't going nowhere now she might be suffering she might hate being with this guy can't stand him you know won't sleep with him don't touch him no nothing but she ain't gonna leave because she don't want to be alone so it's that dynamic that play out as well but on the flip side if a woman is still attractive, still can get guys, especially younger guys, and she can leave without struggling financially, or she can get child support and maybe alimony for a couple of months, a couple of years, or two years, or and she got a decent paying job, and if she can make that jump without any consequences he ain't gonna threaten her or any, anything like that if she can pull it off she's she'll probably leave and, and this is what's happening out here you got women that'll get married two three times and have kids with probably with every guy that she gets married to and get child support and get alimony for a couple of months or a couple of years up to what two years in most states so women are doing this women are using marriage like it's a hustle to exploit men today and this is why a lot of guys opt out they don't want they don't want anything to do with the state at all they might get married but it ain't gonna be with a state license you know and if a woman says she don't want to get married no other type of way but with a state license you know that woman ain't for you then you know you already know what time it is you know so hey you know ultimately it's up to you I'm not the judge and jury I'm not gonna say don't do it I'm not gonna say you should do it but just know the pros and cons of what you're getting into because you don't want to be one of those guys that say, I didn't know, you know? And see, you gotta be careful. See, a lot of women can be very manipulative out here today. They they know how to finesse the relationship. They, you know, they, they you know, they, they, they can be very deceptive out here today. Probably to the, out here, probably deceptive today more than ever you know and it's just keep in mind the average woman that you meet today is just it's just a, most of them are just time wasters once you get past the flesh it's not much there to be honest you know in the 20s 30s 40s most of them don't really have, any, have anything to say not even a good word you know, it's most of the time it's just all for show. Just a waste of time. They don't really have anything to really talk about. Nothing really to bring to the table. I mean, so, but just keep in mind anything that the state allows you to do or the government allows you to do, there's always going to be some type of trade off. It's always going to be a way for them to capitalize off of it if it goes bad or or it's always going to be some type of fees included some type of way just keep that in mind you know so hey that's all i got in this video if you like what you heard check out my website choosyourrelationships.com and you can also check out my new membership site bad boys secrets club Dot com that's bad boys secrets club.com and check out um, my patreon as well that's patreon.com forward slash sharp game and uh, until next time I'm out peace <laughs>